Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. It's a 6.30 edition at the bottom of the hour. I hope you're good and safe. Exciting great news as the push is underway to get stimulus out, and there's three types of right now money you can get right now. And as one viewer asked, does SSI and Social Security and railroad benefits qualify for them? One of them they do. It's incredible great news. And that $2,400 that's proposed under the Biden plan that would get you $2,400 of emergency stimulus relief on top of a stimulus check, on top of increased uh, benefits 20% per up to 20% per year with an additional step up thereafter. It's categorically incredible great news. And this is Early Mornings Ally Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. It's the 6.30 edition. The lighthearted, easy breezy early broadcast of this channel. Everything's very simple and refreshed and lack uh, and easy to digest early in the morning on early morning to LA. Thank you for joining me. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And we're just gonna have a lot of fun this morning. I'm so glad you tuned in. It's Monday morning. So excited that Congress is getting back to work. Well, you know, who are we joking here? Uh, but they're getting back to something. <laughs> <laughs> the crushing the buffet at the lunch, uh, crushing the hairstyle. They're, do they're doing something there. But hopefully, uh, <laughs> they're doing something for someone that needs relief, which is us. And even if, if they don't, I have details about how you can get relief right now. And we don't have to worry about those people right now. If you've not subscribed, go to the front of this channel and subscribe. Uh, subscribe because I'm getting you through the pandemic and finding you money that you can get in your hands because you need it. Also, like this video. Coming up in this video, I'll be going over the three types of money that you can get right now. And I'll be going over what you should anticipate from Mitch McConnell this week. And the incredible details about those grants, $50,000, $5,000, $10,000. Exciting great news across the board. So let's, oh, I almost forgot. You're chatting, <laughs> you're chatting, yeah. I always mess this up. <laughs> if you go to the right, there's a super chat going on an early morning, uh, early morning instant premiere. If you're new to early morning to LA or you mess up introductions like I do, <laughs> there's an instant premiere every early morning broadcast. You go on the right and you can chat with your profile buddies and you can chat about how I mess up things all the time. Uh, just don't say I say things wrong. That's the grounds to be blocked. But <laughs> you know, uh, over there you can chat with your profile buddies and interact with one another. It's if you're watching this video when it debuts at 6:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you miss a 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time broadcast, I have it in the pinned comments of this one. You can watch right after this one. All right, let's now get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start the new day is that there's three types of use. Uh, there's three types. <laughs> there's three types of um, monies you can get right now. And this is incredible great news because this money is available for you right now. The first one is EIDL. The second one is Escalated Unemployment Benefits. And the third one is CARES Act 1 money. You know, there's always someone that jumps in the comments and says, I don't qualify for any of them. You absolutely do qualify for the last one. And the only person on this video, of, uh, watching this video, who doesn't qualify for anything is a person who made a lot of money last year or lives in a state that doesn't give grant money. <laughs> that just doesn't exist. Um, the use or lose money is CARES Act 1 money that the states gave, were given money from the federal government, $150 billion. And that money is now use or lose. And so they're setting up grants for you to get. And this is categorically important because it's money that every viewer of this channel qualifies for, unless you made a buttload of money last year. If you need rent aid, you can get it. If you need food aid, you can get it. If you need stimulus check, you can get it. They're announcing different types of grant programs depending on the state, and they're announcing them in different days, and they're announcing them in different ways. States have discretion about what they're going to use the money for. So one state may say, hey, we're going to just do it for rent. Another state will just say, we're going to do it for food. But generally, they all do the eligibility for the programs the same way. 
This is what's incredibly great news. So if you are a person who made less than $40,000 a year, you would qualify for these despite whatever state you're in. It's just some states will do the money for rent and other states will do it for stimulus. It's simply that easy. So the way you find it is to go on Google News and you look for news articles where they're announcing these grants and then look for the cities and the counties. Someone sent me a nice message yesterday. It was talking about a very, very small town. You don't look for the towns. You look for the city or county. So if you're in a town of 20 people, you don't look for the, something that small. You look a little bit broader and you will find it. Next, escalated benefits. People are starting to understand escalated benefits. Ooh, as I drop something. It's one of those mornings. <laughs> Uh, people understand escalated benefits. And if you don't, you need to turn into Purple Power Live. But escalated benefits is a way to increase your weekly unemployment benefits. And when you do it, you get it retroactively. And most viewers have never done escalated benefits, even though they qualify for it. A raising of escalated benefits, just $100 for someone who's been on unemployment for 30 weeks, is $3,000 that would land your bank account right now. It's simply needed and it's simply imperative that you apply for it and there's no actual application for it. All you do is write a letter to your unemployment office that here's my 2019 tax return. Uh, please look at how much I, money I made. I think I may qualify for more weekly benefits. And if that's the case, please apply them retroactively. And it's as simple as that. Finally, SBA, that's only when you are a a non-W-2 employee. So if you are a plumber, electrician, or a hairdresser, yeah, that too, or an Uber Lyft driver, Airbnb, anyone that's a 1099, and you don't have to have a 1099, you can go get this. This is someone who has a Schedule C that annually in 2019 declared income as an Uber driver and can go get that money. Some of the great questions I've gotten overnight, let me answer some of them right now. Someone said, I was an Uber driver in 2019, but I'm not an Uber driver now. Uh, that's potentially not eligibility. I'll explain to you why. Because the application is, a, is money for people who were doing a business when the pandemic hit and the pandemic hurt their business as an, as an Uber, Uber Lyft driver, for example. That's the business. So you can't have not have stopped, you can't have stopped the business, you know, last year. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, I need assistance for the pandemic. Well, you weren't doing the business when the pandemic hit. So that doesn't, you're not eligible. Now, there is another reverse of the scenario, a reverse situation that you are eligible. And I have done this type of case a lot of times. This is a person who started the business in January of this year, but did not have the business in 2019. I've done like 20 videos on this. You do qualify. SBA, first of all, says you qualify. Second, they will figure out how to do your uh, your your money based upon a pro forma of what was going on. So the way they do it is basically, if you started your business in two thousand in January twenty twenty, you clearly have no two thousand nineteen tax return to explain how much money you are making. So they'll say, hey, let me see how much money you made in January in February, in March, and then I see how much money you made in April. Okay, I see you fell off, you know, 80%. How much were you making in January? Okay, I can take that number and I can stretch it out over a year and figure out this is how much you would have made if you continued at January's rate for the rest of the year with no pandemic hitting. It's that simple. They just have to have financial documents. It takes a little bit longer. Um, you wouldn't get the money as fast. You would, it would take a few extra days to do something like that because that requires a calculation. Next, there are some people that say, I never, uh, I did EIDL, but I never did a reconsideration. Please go do it. It's as simple as that. Then let's turn to stimulus checks. Uh, stimulus checks are important to understand that it's an additional thing that's for you on top of all these things. So what's important to understand is you can get escalated benefits with a stimulus check. You can get uh, CARES Act 1 money with a stimulus check. You can get EIDL with a stimulus check. Stimulus check is just another thing. And what I want you to understand is stimulus checks is not right now because it's not right today. It's not right tomorrow. It could potentially be right after. And that is at the president of the executive order. The president can do an executive order for stimulus checks. He has one for LWA, so he doesn't have to write it again. He doesn't have, he has one for eviction moratorium. He doesn't have to write it again. And he has one for mortgage forbearance. What's great news is he doesn't need to write 
three of those, he only has to write the stimulus one, stimulus check one. The other ones, he can just get the money to the agency and the agency sends out the money. In the case of stimulus checks, he never got pen to paper and wrote it. He should have done it months ago. Had he done it, he could have just said, okay, here's another stimulus check. We're going out again because I, got, I found some more money. If you watched Evening's LLA last night, you saw me in a shocking revelation that there's actually now potentially more than $800 billion of, of unused CARES Act 1 money. Yes, what's happening is that that user lose money that's currently in sitting in cities and counties. Some cities and counties are losing some of it. It's going back to the federal government because they couldn't send out the grant money to their citizens fast enough. And so that money's coming back in. Well, guess where that money's going? Nowhere. It needs to go out to you. It needs to be repurposed. It can be repurposed. And the incredible thing to understand is just get the 800 <laughs> billion that's at SBA now, SBA out now. Uh, and as more comes in, then send that money out as well. Uh, you know, on I think it was on Friday or Saturday, I told you something that worried me. And I have to repeat it in this video as well. Ultimately, the more people that watch this channel, the more people that realize where money is. <laughs> Those include congressmen. And every time that a congressman hears the viewers of this channel talking about what I'm talking about, which is the unused CARES Act 1 money at SBA, they may try to take your their money, take that money, your money, and use it for a different purpose. You don't want that to happen. Marco Rubio over the weekend said, you know what, all we need that was actually when he said all, that's not like additional, all we need is another round of PPP. <sighs> Come on, Marco, really? Uh, restaurants need some more PPP. No, they do not. Restaurants had one, two, three, four, five rounds of, I don't know how many rounds of stimulus PPP. We have barely gotten even one stimulus check. But don't ex be surprised if Marco Rubio tries to make a push to move to get that Cares Act one money at SBA as his. That's what I'm worried about. So you need to be push, push, pushing purple power and get make it very clear that the president does executive orders now before someone else steps in and tries to take that money. And then there's Mitch, who loves lobster, uh, who loves lobster and loves liability insurance and all these weird sort of things that you're like, okay, I know you want these things. You can have them so long as we have our things also. Remember when I had McConnell versus Trump at uh, at 4.30 p.m. every day and there was the, the notion that McConnell may try to take your moolah, the money that's supposed to be yours? Well, that concern is still there. The concern is that Mitch could actually grab that SBA money and repurpose it for a purpose other than yours by by a bill. Now, he couldn't do it by executive order because he's not a not on the executive branch, but you don't want any congressman's thinking up the idea of using that money for something other than stimulus. Then, $2,400, oh my goodness, $2,400 could land in your bank account if you're on SSDI, SSI, and Social Security benefits through 2021. The Biden proposal is to pay you $200 a month starting now all the way to the end of 2021, which would be $2,400, $2,600 incredible this is for everyone on ssi ssdi social security and railroad benefits and it would add 20 percent on top of that uh if uh for lifetime benefits and i can't keep track of how many ants there are and he would have a step up every year based upon a new index okay let's recap that because that's a lot of stuff there first you would get an emergency stimulus check which would come out in $200 increments every month all the way to the end of 2021. That's the first thing. It would end in the end of 2021. It's pandemic only. Then there would be a stimulus, there would be a raise in your entire benefits upwards of 20, up to 20% lifetime, every month higher lifetime. And that's because he thinks you're not getting paid enough. Additionally, he wants to tag your benefits to be uh, tracking a different indicator than COLA. You know what's wrong, COLA? You know what's wrong, COLA. COLA is that thing that's that doesn't barely move, and you see eggs and milks going through the roof, and then COLA sort of flat. And the viewers that jump in the comments on this on this video say, bacon, did you see how expensive bacon is? Yeah, that's COLA. Uh, COLA is sort of flat, and everything's going like this. So he wants to tag it to something else. That's incredible great news. So you see how we're finding the money moolah right now. 
then there's money right after, which could be five to tw seven days thereafter, after today. And then there's money right thereafter, which could be money later this month, money next month. That takes a little bit more time. That's like if Mitch does a bill this week and gets it approved with Nance and it goes to the president. Um, that is the steps of how I'm breaking things down for you. Ultimately, you get one of these or several of these. If you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them tomorrow's recording. Join me uh, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for Morning to LA at the Big Cahoon, in which I detail big breaking developments. Then join me for Holiday's LA, the midday show, in which I have stimulus updates with some holiday cheer and keeping it lighthearted. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at LA for more.